This is the installation video for the Silfex Oxmod Auxiliary Line Input Module for Mazda Vehicles. Installation is actually quite easy. The tools you will need are needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and whatever screwdrivers and wrenches are necessary to remove the radio from your vehicle. The specific instructions on how to remove the radio are not covered here as there are many models and years to go through. Please search the internet using your Mazda model, year, and radio removal as keywords and you will most likely find many sources. Some radios have a hidden security bolt in the glove box, so if you are having trouble removing the radio, please check there. The first step in installation is to completely remove the radio from the vehicle. This is important because the port in which the Oxmod is installed is powered even when the car is off, and performing a powered installation could cause permanent damage to your radio. Also, removing your radio will allow better access and visibility during installation. It is also best to let your radio warm up to room temperature if it is cold outside, so the adhesives work well. The next step is to perform a dry fit of the Oxmod installation. You will notice two adhesive pads with covers on them on the rear of the Oxmod. Leave the covers on first for a dry fit so you are familiar with how the Oxmod goes into the radio. The contacts at the top of the Oxmod go into the black connector on the rear of the radio, with the Oxmod jack facing the front of the radio. The connector system is a floating design, so there will be no click or engagement. The adhesive pads will do the holding. Next, remove both adhesive pad covers and perform the final installation. Insert the Oxmod on a slight angle away from the rear of the radio. Press down until the board of the Oxmod is flush with the metal of the radio. Then tilt the Oxmod back toward the rear of the radio to engage the adhesive pads. Press the board above the pads a few times to ensure that the adhesive bond is good. Next, install the audio cable by firmly inserting the audio plug into the Oxmod jack. Ensure that the plug is fully inserted and that you see no metal of the audio plug showing. Next, use one of the provided zip ties to secure the audio cable to the grating of the radio to ensure strain relief for the Oxmod in case the audio cable is pulled accidentally. This is best performed by making a crease in the zip tie and fishing it through the radio grating, and then use a needle nose plier to pull it tight. The wire cutter can then be used to clip off the excess zip tie if desired. The audio cable can be routed through the notch in the back of the radio. An electrical tape can be used to secure it further if desired. Finally, reinstall the radio into the vehicle. Route the audio cable to the desired location and check for operation by pressing the tape or media button with the car on. This completes the installation. Thank you.